Hi, this is Andy Volpe. This is me working on a copper plate. Since about 2011, I've been working on replicas of Paul Revere's uh, engravings with the printing office of Eads and Gill. Um, here I am inking and printing uh, the print, uh, placing it on the press. This was called a rolling press or an etching press. The felt blankets help distribute the weight and prevent it from ripping apart. And there's the print. Here's the print uh, in better view. I also do uh, living history programs for our colleges, schools, libraries, middle school to high school, basically. The most common. Uh, earlier, if we go back to the time of Julius Caesar, and even earlier in the Punic Wars, we have a helmet of this shape that we call today a Monte Fortino style. So the troops under um, the Roman generals fighting Hannibal were wearing helmets that looked like this. I also do programs on medieval art, Renaissance artists. Uh, this is going to be a silver point. This is a technique from the 1400s using a piece of silver and drawing on a uh, either a wood panel or a piece of paper that's prepared with uh, a mixture of gesso, which is basically a plaster. And uh, here's some of my other artwork, a variety of drawings. Um, the eyes have it. I've got a series of four now of different owls up close. Very expressive drawing. It's a great gray owl, kind of like one of my regular type of drawings. And some of the drawings of prints like this prairie falcon and uh, red tail hawk, I've colored the prints with uh, colored pencils by hand um, after they had been printed, um, commercial printing. Uh, kind of like a glorified photocopy. And uh, here are um, drawings I did of the Higgins Armory Museum in Worcester um, before they closed. I was the de facto artist in residence. So I was desperately trying to draw as much that was on display in the museum, in the Great Hall, in the museum uh, before they closed. A number of these are back on display at the Worcester Art Museum where the collection moved including that gladiator helmet you saw there in the bottom. This is the Teufenbach armor. This is in the uh, Renaissance period gallery. Uh, this is an armor that's not on display yet, but it's uh, going to be soon from what I understand. And as I mentioned, the printing office of Eads and Gill at Faneuil Hall in Boston. This is the Boston broadside or the Boston version of the Declaration of Independence, all handset type. Uh, this is a print by Paul Revere called The Landing of the Troops, done in 1770, we think after the massacre. A map of Boston, not done by Paul Revere, but by an unknown English engraver in London. Uh, this appeared in Gentleman's Magazine, a, a London print magazine. Um, I think it did okay. Uh, this was really hard to do with the detail and the lettering. Um, and I had to increase the size of the plate and the print a little bit um, I had some trouble with transferring the image. This is actually a little bit bigger than the original. So it would have been really interesting to see how they would have done that. But it was a good, uh, it was a good thing to, to play with. The North Battery is where the Coast Guard Station is now in Boston in the North End. Certificate that Paul Revere did in 1762. And of course the Boston Massacre. This is my ultimate piece um, so far. This is a full-size, exact-size replica um, of Paul Revere's work. And this is done doing everything that he did. Um, he copied an artist by the name of Henry Pelham, and I copied Revere, so kind of going in that tradition. Uh, these are some of the details of the work in progress. So I had to do it in, in layers and in sections, uh, gradually building up all the details, all engraved by hand. This is several hours of work. 
Paul Revere cuts down the bottom portion of the plate. You'll see here in the second with the uh, with the wording at the bottom. He cuts that off uh, later and reuses the plate. And I was able to very carefully reconstruct that uh, back to its original size and its original look. And these prints were uh, hand colored by other artists as well. And um, back in March, during the 250th um, massacre events in Boston, I was hand printing these at the printing office. Everything done exactly as Paul Revere did 250 years ago, um, on basically on the day of the massacre. Revere prints his print, um, his plate, uh, about three weeks after the event. And I got to uh, show some of this at the Worcester Art Museum um, for their Paul Revere exhibit, which is going to end in uh, November. So get out there and see it if you can. Here's some other prints. So this is a short-eared owl done on plexiglass. So this is a dry point scratching the surface of the plate to accept ink. And then after it's printed, I hand color them with brushes and watercolors. I kind of like making my own paint by numbers. This is a wood engraving on maple, so this is printed in relief, so the surface is printed. Everything white is carved away. The Frugianus hawk is engraved, um, much like Paul Revere did, that sort of thing. And these are also hand-colored. I have a variety of these colored in slightly different ways. And this all really started with this golden eagle done uh, in the same style that Rembrandt did. So etching is using acid to cut the plate, and he followed up with engraving tools to add more lines and tone to it. And these, uh, some of these are also hand colored. So that's, uh, that's a quick look at my work. Thanks for watching.